Hi, this is Michael Gatewood with Digital Essentials, and I'm going to be explaining the blend modes in Photoshop CS5. The first thing I have is I have a gradient that I've put together and uh, applied it over the top of a photograph of a piece of cotton or a cotton plant. This particular photograph has white areas and dark areas, so it'll help to explain or show off these different blend modes. I've put together a purple, green, orange gradient that I've put over the top in a separate layer. You can see both. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain each one of these particular blend modes by simply allowing you to see each one in action. The first blend mode is normal. Normal does not interact with the base image. What it has is a gradient, and the gradient is over the top of the photograph. The only way we can see the bottom photograph is to change the opacity. Normal mo mode is the default. The colors of the two layers will not interact in any way, and it will display the full value of the color in layer one. What you see in the image window will look like this. Dissolve makes the lower layer take on the colors of the top layer and how much depends on the opacity. So I'm going to show you by turning the opacity down about 50%. Dissolve only affects pixels with some transparency. This is why I lowered the uh, image about 50% to let you take a look at it. Darken. Darken compares each pixel value of the upper layer to its counterpart's pixel value of the lower layer and chooses the darker of the two to display. Multiply. Multiply darkens the lower layer based on the darkness of the upper layer. No part of the image will get lighter. Any applied tone darker than the white darkens the lower layer. White becomes transparent with multiply. Color burn. Color burn burns in the color of the upper layer with the lower layer. No part of the image will get lighter. Linear burn. Linear burn works like multiply, but the results are very harsh. Lighten. Lighten compares the two layers pixel for pixel and uses the lightest pixel value. No part of the image gets any darker. Screen. Screen brightens by lightening the lower layer based on the lightness of the upper layer. The result is always lighter and makes it a good mode for correcting exposure in photos that are too dark. Color burn. Color burn dodges the lower layer with the upper layer, resulting in a lighter image. No part of the image will be darkened. Linear dodge. Linear dodge works like screen, but with more intense results. Overlay. Overlay multiplies the light colors in screens the dark colors. Soft light. Soft light will multiply the dark tones and screen the light tones. Hard light. Hard light multiplies the dark colors and screens the light colors. Vivid light. Vivid light will dodge or burn the lower layer pixels depending on whether the Upper layer pixels are brighter or darker than neutral gray. It works on the contrast of the lower layer. Linear light. Linear light is the same as vivid light, but it works on the brightness of the lower layer. Pin light. Pin light changes the lower layer pixels depending on how bright the pixels are in the upper layer. It acts like multiply when the upper layer color is darker than neutral gray. 
an axe-like screen in the upper layer color is lighter than neutral gray. Difference. Difference reacts to the difference between the upper and lower layer pixels. Large differences lighten the color and small differences darken the color. Exclusion. Exclusion uses the darkness of the lower layer to mask the difference between upper and lower layers. Hue. Hue changes the hue of the lower layer to the hue of the upper layer, but leaves brightness and saturation alone. Saturation changes the saturation of the lower layer to the hue of the upper layer. Color. Color changes the hue and saturation of the lower layer to the hue and saturation of the upper layer, but leaves luminosity alone. Luminosity. Luminosity changes the luminosity of the lower layer to the luminosity of the upper layer while leaving hue and saturation the same. Hopefully this will help you with some of the blend modes and how they interact with images and how the different effects can work in Photoshop. This is Michael Gatewood. Thank you for watching.